I don't know why, but it feels like this video needs a lot of disclaimers and uh, explanations. <laughs> anyway, what you are about to hear are some of my first impressions about the new Evernote Home after spending um, a day and a half with it. And you guys told me you like first impression videos, so here we go. Every time I open Evernote yesterday on my phone and I spent most of my day yesterday out of the office, those new icons, they were useless. Okay, it's just one day, <laughs> just one experience. But what I noticed was that I was wrong about how I use Evernote when I'm out of the office. I'm constantly looking for information. And the way I created, uh, crafted the homepage is a reflection of that. I even went back to my videos, the titles, the old videos here in the channel, and I took a look at how I talked about Evernote Home and how that was helpful. It Everything I needed, the notes, the pin note, uh, the filters I created, they were all there to serve me. It's opening the app and having that information available. You can easily tell how much I love Evernote Home by a sticker I have for sale on my online store. It says with widgets, uh, I mean with uh, emojis, it says, I love Evernote Home. And even the calendar and the tasks widgets on my phone, they are more consumption widgets, when I'm looking at them, I don't think I'm creating tasks, creating entries. I'm most of the time tapping the attached node or checking the tasks. Again, I, I had this misconception. I thought that I, because I spend most of my time at the office, I would be using the app to create and I don't think that's true. I think it, it's a combination. Everything that I build when I'm in the office, the notes, the filters, everything that I create there, I use outside to navigate my day. And that's what I, that's what I perceived uh, yesterday. And also when I went back to the, to, to the old videos. I know what you're thinking and I agree with you. I'm not being fair. Tasks and calendar, they're right here on this new bar and they are very fast. I love that. It's really good. That's good. However, those were not the only widgets I had. I still have on Evernote Home. Below them, I had pin notes. I had uh, filtered notes widgets. I had a crafted space that would help me navigate my day. And one widget I also loved there was the notes widget because it shows the notes I recently used, I recently changed. And that was something I was constantly looking for because if I'm working on a note here on my computer and I leave and I go to, it, it's more likely that I, I will need that note. And if I go to that notes widget, I'll see that uh, note that I was working right there. So to make it uh, better, what I did was rearrange the widgets page. So I moved the calendar and the tasks widgets down below. Uh, I also moved the, the scratch pad uh, and moved to the top the widgets I, I need and use most of the time. That made things better, but one thing I didn't understand, and, and thankfully, if we rearrange the icons here on, our, on the mobile version, the mobile client, that will not affect the ordering on the desktop client. That's good. As for the iPad, I don't know what's gonna happen to the iPad, but unfortunately the widgets will be rearranged there because it's 
mobile arrangement and desktop and web arrangement. So yeah, but I, 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 I don't use the iPad that much. Um, then the next thing I tried was removing the scratch pad from the widgets page because it's already here. Uh, uh, the new home has the scratch pad, so I don't need it there. But I found out that removing it from the widgets page will also remove it from the new home page. I don't know why that is. And talking about uh, removing widgets, I think it would be nice if we could remove the calendar and the tasks and whatever widget we wanted to remove uh, from the widgets page here on the phone and not affect the ones we have uh, on the desktop because now I, I need less widgets there. I don't need all these widgets because again, tasks and calendar are right here and they are very fast. Another thing I would love would be, let me, let me have at least one widget here instead of the scratch pad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me change this to another widget, uh, maybe a pin note or maybe the notes list. I don't know. Uh, it would be nice if we could have at least one of our widgets here. One. Let me change this. <laughs> I already have here create new note, scan and do everything. Let me use this space uh, for a better widget. And since we're talking about mobile, I think it would be a good idea to take a look at this uh, recent post Federico posted on LinkedIn. Uh, let's read it. Frequent question I get. Why do we only release new features on desktop? My answer, although we strive to make the new features perfect, there is no guarantee that we always nail it at the first time. Imagine how much time we'd waste if we develop a feature for both platforms to later discover we are completely mistaken. So here it is. Uh, a lot of people are asking why many of the new features are only available on desktop and web. Here's the answer. Anyway, I have a trip coming up soon. And I think that would be will be the perfect uh, opportunity to try uh, this new Evernote harm on mobile. For now, I'm still not sure <laughs> if I liked it. I, I I really love how fast it is, and even the calendar and and, and tasks uh, uh, bottoms down there. They 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 are making that they are definitely making my life easier. It's faster to get to them. But again, that page, when I open Evernote, for now, it's not telling me a lot. Maybe if I had the option to use at least one of my preferred widgets there, maybe <laughs> I, I would like it a little bit more. That's it. Uh, please let me know what you think about the new uh, Evernote Home. I would love to know if you are more of a collector or a, a reader or a user of, of what you have on, on the app, the mobile app. Thanks for watching. See you soon.